Hello everyone, let me read to you a story and it's actually about myself but it's written by a child. It's called The Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that Saint Nicholas soon would be there. Well, that's me. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. Hmm. When out on the lawn there arose such clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Hmm. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When, what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. I love reindeers. <laughs> With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. Well, that is me. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called him by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. Oh, cometh, oh, and Cupid, oh, Donder and Blitzen. I believe that is Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before, the wild hurricane fly. When they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys. And me, Saint Nicholas too. Oh yes. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head I was turning around down the chimney. Saint Nicholas came with a bound. Boom! <laughs> he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. I have a new gown now. Uh, it was clean actually. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. It's heavy you know. His eyes how they twinkled. His dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses. His nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was white as the snow. Oh yes. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and he smoked, encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Ah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head, he soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. Of course, nobody can be afraid of Santa. He spoke not a word, but spent straight to his work and filled all these stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. Here you can see how he flies away. 
he sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas. <laughs>